guys, Kristen here from Scooter Boat Corner, and I am filming a walkthrough of my newest completed journal, which is basically a forensic themed journal. So by day, I'm actually a forensic DNA analyst. Um, that's been my career since 2006, and journal making has been a hobby, and I finally married those two things together. So there's gonna be things in this journal that are definitely like forensic science specific, or um, I guess themed that way. Uh, so I'll kind of just share a quick flip through. I don't know yet if I want to sell this journal because it's my favorite journal I've ever made. However, if people have an interest in something like this, um, you know, kind of true crime, forensic science, that sort of thing, I definitely could make more because I had a blast uh, doing this. So anyway, uh, the cover is actually made from a dyed file folder and it had some pattern on it so the the i kind of went for grungy look on this i created this beaded dangle obviously it spells forensics there's a uh, skull on the end some blood spattered beads uh microscope this one spells out dna evidence there's a dna helix and a flask so it is bound with this ribbon this uh, crime scene evidence and then this fabric of course looks like blood spatter uh, there's some lace on the back um, there's just like additional pages that came from this uh, gun book that I found and I've just glued this little thing down here that says case file. So you can actually tuck some additional things back there. All right, so opening it up, there are pockets in the front and back. This is uh, just like a game sheet from a vintage game, uh, the Who Done It detective sheet. Uh, so there's just lots of detail in this journal. Um, that's just like a journeying place. Oh, before we get too far, the tabs down the side spell out evidence never lies. Um, so that's what it is from the side there. Okay, uh, so like I said, this is made to look like a footprint and some identification marks, uh, secret journal spot. APHIS is the database used for fingerprint searches. That's the reason that's there. Some vintage clue uh, cards are in here. It's a flip. And then on the other side are, uh, is another um, clue card. So this is made to look like, of course, blood stains. Um, this is just, I had a vintage anatomy book. So I used parts of that. This is toxicology, kind of some vintagey looking bottles, some printables. This is from that gun book. Again, some more of the anatomy. Here's just like a little journaling spot. And of course it has DNA helix and some um, test tubes. Here's another tuck spot here <laughs> and this is where some of this like I mean these are, these came from like criminal vintage criminology books and different things like that so if you're actually looking real detailed you see like where it's talking about violent crime and crime statistics and places like this this is actually from a book that's uh, like from a forensic pathologist no anthropologist so I mean you know, there's kind of legitimately some things in here that may not be everybody's cup of tea. Uh, I made the pom-pom trim, of course, look like it had, you know, blood spatter. So here is a pocket right there. A torn looking bag. A lot of evidence is submitted into the DNA section in paper bags because the evidence needs to be able to breathe. So paper bag is definitely, you know, a nod to that but you, here's this little pocket that you then could put out of the stuff in here here's a wax seal that i made of course everything looks like you know it's kind of maybe come from possibly a crime scene a little says forensic there 
Uh, here's a card that I made, it's a spatter. Here's a little tuck spot of a magnifying glass. This is from a vintage game, I think it was called Sleuth. Um, here is just some more things to make uh, additional things. This is, again, from like that anatomy book, if I recall. I made this grungy mixed media tag. Um, I happened to find this particular uh, flash card in like literally the Goodwill bins, like, you know, where you're kind of like digging stuff out to save it before it hits trash. And I was like, well, that's like sort of relevant, right? This came from a vintage uh, kids book. I cannot even remember what the book was about, but I had to put it in here. Again, this is just a journaling spot. Here's another just grungy. Um, I did, when I did some of my coffee dyeing, I got some real grungy. And so, you know, that's where we are. This is from a vintage game. It spells out notes and a tuck spot, another vintage game card. And then just, this is actually from, I think that anthropology book. Um, and it talks just about everything has to be carefully documented weights, volumes, and so forth. A lot of photographs have to be taken and this can be painstaking. And uh, that's just incredibly true with all of, um, you know, certain things when you're investigating and forensic evidence in general. So a little tuck spot, this is test tube. Over here is just some fun science fabric. I made this, this little extra um, place to journal and of course it, had graph grid paper in there, kind of sciencey. This is a printable that I got for free. It's not very clear, but this looks like the scales that are used when you're laying down your evidence um, for photographs sometimes. And um, that just tucks up in there. There's another end of that paper. I actually got this cute little stamp for Christmas. It looks like an evidence tag, but this is a coin envelope but of course that looks you know kind of like a, a bloody spot um here's just a little fun uh index card so i, I cut out some definitions out of a, a vintage dictionary that could be a relative putative perpetrator this is just uh, another card. Like I, I even tried to, um, you know, sort of grunge up the edges just so everything looked a little, you know, worn. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, the, the hidden paper clip. Um, just an extra little ephemera. This is actually a little pocket that something could be tucked in. Here is a gun. Um, this talks about like attachment of muscles and that's like the other end of that. But it also serves to close this flap. So there's a, a tuck spot slash journal spot, whatever. This is made to kind of resemble the idea of mapping out um, blood spatter. Um, I, I'm not a professional at that by any stretch of the imagination. So there's no like accuracy here is just to kind of give that look um here's a nice vingy vingy grungy card tag made from more vintage stuff it spells out crime it's actually kind of it's uh, tacked down there so there's not a lot of flip but you know you could do something there if someone desired but i just kind of liked the look of that it's just another um flash card that i made kind of given some forensic words out there uh, or words that, you know, come across in um, that that's analyte, that's a fingerprint. Down here says threshold. This is from another vintage um, like clue or mystery game. Uh, obviously you gotta have some crime scene do not cross. Uh, here is just another um, you know pocket tuck spot bullet casings this is a pocket here obviously you can undo that and put more things down in that pocket and there's just this little detail down there about that again another pocket here it says time of death there's a little clock charm um, I have this in here because I didn't really use the right, the right, um, 
ink to make these fingerprints and so they kind of wanted they didn't want to dry very well so um, that's why that's kind of in there to keep that from transferring um, so I might make these again obviously I, I will have learned that lesson but this flips up it's on a very grungy piece of paper here there's not really a massive place to tuck. You could tuck maybe just like a little few things in there. It can't be very big, but um, from a game spells DNA. This is also just a game piece from that. Um, this flaps open or and, I guess, not or and. Um, there's a spot there. This is just looks like a evidence submission envelope and just some extra little pieces that you could put in the journal, wherever, or use extra. Um, this says molecular biology. That's really sort of the, um, not sort of, it is what you're doing as a DNA analyst. Um, you have to have that classwork and all of that jazz. Here is a little charm dangle, has a little skull and a tooth. Um, so teeth obviously are something that a forensic uh, dentist or I'm like blanking on the official, <laughs> but this looks like a homicide record card they use for identification. You can't leave out, you know, the those kinds of things in these kinds of journals. This looks like obviously a uh, you know, something from a crime scene at the top. You know, it talks about a uh, definition of assault. Um, these are pieces from that forensic anthropologist book. So obviously here's a place to journal, tuck spot, all of that kind of stuff. Here are more things in this little tuck spot. Again, um, things that you would come across, you know, word-wise in the forensic community. Um, this is glued down and you could tuck something there, but it gives you a little journal spot here. This is made to kind of resemble like a, a tag, whether it be on evidence, whether it be on a pony, so to speak. I mean, just kind of like that concept. That's not what they really look like Benny stretch of the imagination, but you know, kind of giving off that, that vibe again, some more blood spatter, um, pom-pom trim, DNA helix. This one, like I made this card, this is a very ode to um, my profession specifically. Most people wouldn't even know what this is, but it's made to look like a uh, filter paper and you're labeling your items and you are performing your body fluid testing on the filter paper. So for example, if you are testing um, for blood using certain chemicals. It comes up more of a pink. By the time this dries, it looks more red, but you know, that was like the concept, um, is that, you know, that's, you would rub your swabs in the middle of filter paper, you drop your chemicals onto the filter paper and it would react and that, you know, would give you a positive. So anyway, there's your lesson on that, why it looks like that. Um, there's just one of these like border, um, trends down the side real grungy here's another uh paper clip that's what attaches this whole thing to this page so there's um this is a tuck spot so you could tuck something in there journal and um that's again just that get that back on there then on the other side there's just this like flap there uh, so synopsis is obviously like kind of a storyline or a brief summary of what the case is about. That's kind of specially um, requested in DNA analysis because that way um, the scientist has a clue specifically where to start because if you're testing for something that's unseen, you kind of need to have a, an idea of what might be relevant anyway um so this says official report up on this this is just another um you know printable cutout looking thing that i made uh this is the center of uh this particular signature so it just has a bunch of extra little 
um, cards and pieces in here. Niven is um, a firearms related uh, database. There's like a tag that I've made. So over here it just has some different um, game pieces. There's dark square, black squares that you could use to create additional flaps or folds, whatever you wanted, uh, if so desired. This is clipped on there. Um, but here's just another journal card. This says CODIS. So CODIS is the Combined DNA Index System. So that's a database for searching DNA uh, profiles. And this up here spells out short tandem repeat SDR analysis. So that is the, um, that is what, you know, DNA analysts are performing when they're doing DNA testing. Um, this is clearly a very tight fit after the fact, but uh, it's supposed to be a hidden <laughs> journal spot. So I actually need to go back in and trim that guy up a little bit after it's, you know, dried. It's... This is a, a printable um, that tucks in this nice grungy pocket here, point of entry, knife blade, handled area of the firearm. Here's the tab of lies. Very grungy, coffee dyed paper. Just another book page from that uh, anatomy book. This is just a uh, tuck spot for a couple little things. This says specimen. Here is a tag that I made, so it looks like a footprint. Uh, well, not footprint, eh, because that's, well, yeah, I like a shoe print, whatever. Entered the residence. It's made to look, you know, kind of like a uh, specimen, sort of presumptive. That is the word for, um, you're presuming it hasn't been confirmed. So that during certain body fluid testing, that might be something that you've established. And this is just a real big um, tuck corner right there. Here's a specimen looking card, positive control. That's very important in forensic science. You always check all of your uh, chemicals before testing anything to make sure it is performing as expected. <laughs> And here is a tuck spot uh, that says chemistry. This is from, like, it's in another language, uh, the book is, and I have no clue what the entire uh, story is about, but it's either about, like, some kind of monster murder something. So this kind of seemed like a fun one to add in there. These are just a couple little extra things added in, other journal cards, other little strips of paper. This is made to look like a fiber specimen. Um, this flips up and just kind of tucks back in there. Follicle obviously is referencing hair. Down here it says microscope. Here's a place to journal and just some additional um, tags and things you know you could use throughout the journal. So that is the end of this journal. Um, I, this was my favorite. I just loved how it turned out. I just thought it was super fun. Let me know what you think. Comment down below what your favorite part of the journal is. Uh, comment whether you would have interest in something like this or, um, you know, just your thoughts in general because this is very different from things that I normally do. A lot of my journals usually are typically other than like the fall group that I did very colorful and, and bright a little more cheery and and then um, you know my my day job is not really cheerful so <laughs> it's you know it's a little dark um, again let me know what you think I'd love for you to comment below just tell me your thoughts what your favorite parts are just in general and until next time I hope you have a great day